Hey, Cancer, I'm going to do your reading. I have healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. And engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Okay, if you're single, that means you're going to be bringing in a partner, a serious uh, romantic commitment. If you're dating someone, this means that they're going to take it to the next level. If you're in a relationship, this could mean that you're going to be getting engaged, especially around the holiday season. That seems to be a thing. Um, healing. Ooh, I have four of wands at the bottom of the deck. Okay. For some of you, you might just be eloping. <laughs> healing family issues. I feel like this is around communication. You have this king of pentacles cancer that you're dealing with. Could be an earth sign. Just someone who's really super secure. Taking a lot of action towards you. Wanting to move quickly forward with the chariot a lot of passion though with this person um so it could be another cancer could also be like i'm getting taurus energy you're gonna have to check all placements sun moon rising and venus and check your placements as well you're this queen of cups oh okay so you've learned this self-love this is really beautiful with this ace of cups this is a gift though coming in to you you've really learned how to just focus on yourself no matter what's been going on outside of you do you see how she's just ignoring this water around her she's ignoring all the circumstances that are that's around her and she's just loving herself this person loves that about you. They love that you have the ability to do that. Yeah, they see you like as a tasty snack with this nine of pentacles. This is my single ready to mingle card. So for some of you, you are single, but you're giving off this vibe like I have it all. You need to add to my life if you want to be a part of it. Okay, you're you're this person's counterpart. Especially with that nine of pentacles. You are their counterpart. All right, what's blocking this? You were really confused in the past. Uh, this okay so confusion and then mysticism this is crown and throat chakra or yeah crown and third eye chakra but with mysticism showing up here this means that you're you're finally finally following your intuition you weren't you weren't following your intuition you weren't following the guidance that was being given to you you are now mysticism like the actual uh thing in this deck is about someone mysteriously showing up at dinner or at your door so you could have someone your person like just randomly showing up but i feel like for some of you you're so tapped in you know that Okay, recovery is in the upright and despondence is in reverse. No longer freaking out. I said this. No longer freaking out about your 3D circumstances. Okay, completely ignoring the 3D. And then recovering. Like almost being given the keys to the castle to open the new door for you or the new doors for you. What do we need to know about love, career, finances?
Okay. If you've been feeling like you've been left out in the cold or you were feeling like you were being left out in the cold, that you hit rock bottom, you're coming out of all of that. You do have this partner showing up that is going to fully support you. I love these giraffes here. Okay. Do you see how just sweet they are? This is also though, like you needing to keep moving forward. Don't allow yourself to get stuck. Rock bottom is just about perspective, about the way that you've looked at situations in the past. But And I feel like you've transmuted this energy. If you haven't, you will. Okay. You'll become a master at this. And then Dragon's Lair. This for me is about like being frozen in time. So if you felt feel like you were stuck, you're coming out of that. Dragons may be significant. Game of Thrones may also be significant. Ones and nines are going to be significant for you guys. Moonlight, you're receiving a lot of information at night. Okay, keep following your intuition. It's also about you embracing your femininity. I read for the feminines. There was a fear in the past of you truly being in that feminine power. It's almost like you were taught not to be in that power or that you should be ashamed of it. But you're completely embracing that. Like, you were taught to focus on the negative in your life. You're moving out of all of that energy, though. Like, you're realizing nothing can be taken from you without you, without your approval. That Ace of Cups at the bottom. Uh, I also have the Chariot, which is just confirmation, okay, that you are moving quickly out of all, any negative energy that you've been in. Knight of Pentacles. Um, if you're waiting for money to come in, just expect that it's going to be coming in. You, <laughs> you got to get it out of your head, though, that you're going to be left, like, to die. You're always protected. You're always supported. Temperance. Tempering your own energy. Yeah. So I have temperance and then two of pentacles in reverse. In the past, you allowed your emotions to get the best of you. Okay. This is you being, you see this water, your emotions being all over the place, up and down. Okay. You're no longer letting that happen, especially with temperance. Okay. You've learned how to really ground yourself. How to ground your emotions. Cat on nine tails may be significant. Like these. These things here. Okay. Could be dealing with a Leo. Because I'm also getting pulled to the sun. Some type of rebirth. That's occurring. So this. there You could also have this person coming back from the past. If you didn't want someone back from the past. Then just ignore that. Okay. This could also be someone new coming in for you. Get a goddess card. Oop. One was trying to get out. Peace and compassion. Release judgments about yourself and others. And focus on the love and light that is, with ev that is within everyone. And then peace. There's no need to worry as everything is working out beautifully. Okay, I'm getting pulled to the abundance card at the bottom of the this deck here. Prosperity. If you're waiting for some type of money coming in, it is coming. It's been slow to get to you, but that's changing. I would, I would expect that, like between now and the first couple of weeks of January that it's going to be coming into you. These are these cards. Really beautiful. 
Some of you, if you've been trying to get pregnant, know that that's going to happen. Grapes, wine may be significant. Grape leaves may be significant. Like maybe uh, you may have Greek heritage. Like I'm getting pulled, someone cooking with grape leaves. And lotus flowers may also be significant. All right. I love you guys. You got this. Hey, guys. Just wanted to mention that I'm doing a webinar, a self-concept webinar, on the 30th of December. Make sure you sign up for that on my website. Okay. I'm going to be explaining self-concept in a way that you've never heard it. All right. So go ahead. Go down into the description box. Go to my website and sign up for that webinar. Love you guys. You got this.